Okay. Good morning, or you know, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Uh, so I haven't done a video in a while, and I've been wanting to do this for a little while as well. So it's all about the open prep on H2PO. So I'm three weeks into it now, and it's an 11, I think 11 or 12 week cycle that it's gonna go through. So what we're gonna talk about today is the format, um, kind of what way you're changing train, uh, what way your training changes, and basically what to expect if you're interested in signing up for it. I think registration for it might be closed now, but I think if you're part of the program, you can still get in on it. Uh, I'm not too sure how that works. Um, so, full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by HUPO in any way or anything like that. This is just a program that I use and I really like it. So, I've been doing flagship now for you know over 500 days, and that's at least kind of two months that I took off in there as well. So, really, it's I don't know, like 600 and something days that I am actually on. But uh, through injury, holidays, and stuff like that, I'm, still, I'm, I'm on like day 511 or something like that. But anyway, so open prep. What's different? Uh, that, that's kind of it, actually. What, what's different about it? Why, why is it a thing, basically? So I've had a couple people ask me questions of, you know, how come I'm doing this now rather than this? Did I change programs or is it still the same? Uh, just those kind of questions, because the training is a little bit different, but the general, say, skeleton of it is the exact same. You're just filling it in with different things. So what I mean by that is, it's still following the same format as you do a three round warm up, you do some strength work, you do some skill work, and then on certain days you do some uh, conditioning work, and then a Metcon with accessories. So there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you're gonna be training for a little while, you know? So. Uh, I train Monday to Saturday, it works better for my schedule, but if you're someone that's making it to semi-finals, quarter-finals, you might already, but I would definitely recommend training on a Tuesday to Sunday. Reason being is because any competition that you go to, it's usually Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it just makes it better for you then because you're not changing your training, you're not changing basically anything because you'll have a certain schedule that you keep to. So. That's what I'd recommend. But anyway, for sakes of that, I'm gonna be speaking of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, up to Saturday. So what a Monday looks like is pretty much, uh, as I said, you know, it's, it's the same kind of skeleton as what the flagship program is. So you start off with your three round warm up, then there's some strength work. On a Monday, it's kind of changing a little bit, but uh, so far it's been, a lot of strict pressing and squat snatching. So it's all just percentage work and it's just getting in some good volume for the shoulders so that you know, you're know you getting ready for the open. There's gonna be a lot of shoulders. As we've seen, there's been wall walks, there's been a lot of dumbbell snatching. So you know it's good to have strong shoulders, so that's why that's there. Then the conditioning work on a Monday is always rowing. Even in the flagship program, it's always rowing. Um, then after that, there will be a Mekon. The Mekon can be anything. So, so far we've seen uh, very open style, 21, 15, 9, 6, 3 of front squats and bar facing burpees. The week previous, I think, was some thrusters with some gymnastics. Uh, yeah, so the Mekons, when they come up, they're very open style, so very 21, 15, 9, uh, 15, 12, 9, a 12 minute arm wrap of 12, 12, and 12. So, you know, it's just very, when you think of the open, they're the kind of workouts that you're going to be doing. Also on Monday is some gymnastics strength work or skill work, if you want to call it that. So, Monday is all about ring muscle ups. So, you're doing your dip holds, uh, your support holds, your kip swings, your ring muscle ups, and then you build on everything from week one. So week one, you do your baseline test of your max ring muscle ups, or uh, I think it's a five minute window. Um, five minute window to find <clears throat> the amount of ring muscle ups that you can do in that time. And then everything gets built off that. We'll follow the same format for chest of bars and toes of bar also. So that's Monday. It's your, as, as I said, it's the strength work, some gymnastics work, a Metcon, which 
can be interchangeable depending on what is programmed obviously. Um, some accessories. The accessories is usually just some biceps, triceps, some specific lat strength stuff, so dumbbell rows, barbell rows, uh, some strip pull-ups maybe. So that's the that gives you a fair idea of what the program is going to follow for the open prep, how it's going to feel and what you're going to do. Tuesday, again very similar, uh, you do your three round warm up. On a Tuesday and on a Friday are your open days. So in the open prep, the Tuesday and the Friday are your open days. What I mean by that is on Tuesday you practice a specific open workout. So this week was 22.1, which is the wall walks, dumbbell snatching, and box jump overs. And then they changed the, the format of box jumps where you couldn't rebound and you had to step down. So it's going through uh, the skills of each movement on a Tuesday. So you're practicing skills of your wall walks. So you're doing a, I think it was a 10 minute EMOM of doing one single wall walk and it's getting in as fast as you can, getting back out as fast as you can, while keeping to the standards, and just practicing that. Then I was practicing your dumbbell snatches. Where are you gonna transition? Uh, how are you breathing? What does your body shape look like? Um, are you fatiguing in your lower back, your quads, your hands, your grip, is it your shoulders? So this is the main difference of the flagship program into the open prep program. There's a lot more thought that goes into it. There's a lot more notes in the app to tell you what to focus on. And the person that's doing the videos in the open prep program at the moment is Jake Marconi. He brings a very lightheartedness to the program, which is very appreciated. Um, all the videos with Fraser are amazing. And he's obviously very very good at crossfit so he says a lot of things like this is a light weight this should be easy and it's a normal weight that's typically heavy for some people and things that are easy for him are definitely not easy for other people so he sometimes says things like that in the video and you're kind of thinking okay well this is obviously where you're supposed to be where the change for jake doing the videos now he is a little bit more realistic, I suppose, about general people. So he'll say things like, look, if you're tired today and you miss this specific piece, it's not the end of the world, just don't keep missing it. And just little things like that. So there are small nuanced changes that if you're paying attention to them, they're very good. So, sorry, back onto the point. Uh, there's a lot more notes. The video, as we just spoke about, is very good as well, and it's very broken down. So each piece that you're attacking, you have multiple different things that you can think about, and there's multiple different things that you can focus on. The reason that's really good is because what we can get ourselves wrapped up in is just going through emotions. And yes, that's good, but you're better off having some specific focus for each key component. So this week was really good because the wall walks you had multiple different notes of, here's what to do, here's how to do it, here's why you're doing it. So it's very good in that regard. Then the dumbbell snatches, again, where are you getting toward? How are you breathing? Because when you're doing a 15 minute arm wrap or a 12 minute arm wrap or whatever might come up this year, it's gonna get very hard. So it's dedicating some specific practice to those skills on a Tuesday, which are really good. And then when you transition to the Friday, you're doing the actual workout but now you have knowledge of the movements that you've just done, uh, what fatigued on you, what got really hard, how you felt, how you were breathing, at what point in the practice did you start to think, oh, I don't know if I could do this anymore, or maybe I went too fast. So when you attack it on the Friday, you have a whole bulk of knowledge to go in with. So it's, it's a very, very good part of the program Tuesdays and Fridays are. So yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's very good. Um, after you do your skill uh, open prep stuff on a Tuesday, then after that, there's also some strength work. So I will try to get a picture of this up on the screen as well. The strength work on a Tuesday is always front squats and back squats. Again, it's just percentage work nothing that's already different from the flagship program and if you've done the flagship you'll have done this a couple of times as well already 
Um, then the accessory work. Again, as I said, it's biceps, triceps, and usually some lat work. Uh, there's sometimes some extra shoulder stuff thrown in there as well, but generally speaking, it's, it's just some specific strength stuff. Wednesdays. Wednesdays, your gymnastics focus is total bar. So, like the ring muscle ups that we done on Monday, <clears throat> the total bar focus will be taken from also week one. So you do a five minute window, get the uh, max toes to bar that you can get, and then it builds off of that. So on Wednesdays, when you're doing the toes to bar, uh, it follows that same progression. So you're just building off that, and that's what you're gonna do. It follows the cycle of every 30 seconds for 10 rounds, so it's five minutes still, but you're slowly starting to increase the sets that you're doing. So it'll start, let's say for instance, you got 50 in your five minute window, and we start off with do twos, then do fours, then do sixes, and whatever it might be. It's just to get you better at doing the movement. The strength work are some power cleaning jerks and some deadlifts. That changes just slightly. Um, some weeks it will be power snatching for super high volume. Uh, so what it will be, well, sorry, not super high volume, just higher volume. It'll be a really light weight with five sets of 15 then four sets of 20, and then after it'll follow that progression so that if power snatching comes up in the open, it's generally pretty high volume, so it's getting you ready for that. Then the conditioning work on a Wednesday is the assault bike. So this is a progression that you're gonna follow as well. Again, from week one, you do a test. So it was a 10 minute test for your average wattage and your average RPM. So you take note of those two numbers. Wattage is a little bit more uh, specific. It's a lot more variable, where the RPM is a little bit more sustainable in terms of sticking to one number. Um, so once you have those two numbers, you build off that. So essentially, you're following a lot of different progressions through the week. So I'm just gonna give up until Wednesday because you can start to get the general gist of it now. If you have any other specific questions, just drop a comment down below. I don't want this video to get too long. So drop a comment down below and I'll cover things that I might have missed or I mightn't have covered. Uh, just let me know. Let me know what you were interested in and what you wanna know about. So yeah, you're following a rowing program, an assault bike program, some Metcons thrown into each day, some specific gymnastic skill work that you're doing for ring muscle ups, toes to bar, and chest to bars, and then a lot of accessories just thrown in on top of that, which will be biceps, triceps, lats, strict pull ups, some hamstring work, RDLs, and that will kind of chop and change a little bit. There's a lot more variability in the accessory work than there is in the actual program. So hopefully this covers the most part of it. Uh, this is everything that I've kind of been asked about already and what people seem to be interested in. If there's something else that you're interested in, as I said, that I haven't covered, just drop a comment down below and I'll cover it in the next video. Um, I'm planning to start a open help video series uh, myself for toes to bar, chest to bar, all that kind of stuff. It'll be a little bit of the cycle uh, progressions that we're following in the open prep for HTPO but it will be a little bit of my own coaching experience and stuff as well. And it will put people into different categories and how to best maximize your performance for the open. If that's something that you're interested in, keep your eye on the channel, hit the like button down below and subscribe and all that good stuff, you know, it helps the channel. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this gave you some you know, knowledge that you wanted on the program. If it did, I'm happy. See ya.